I grow artichoke here in my kitchen garden, a beautiful and almost regal looking member of the Tissel family. I grow my artichoke to eat the undeveloped buds, but it has an aesthetic value too, with its large purple flowers. Here in Sweden, most artichokes are annual, but many varieties can survive a milder winter too, if they are protected well. I am growing a Swedish heirloom variety called Herregårds. It's supposed to be extra hardy. The artichoke is a delicacy and it feels extra special to bring homegrown ones to the table, of course. And how to cook it then? Well, I have three favorite methods, but I know that there are more out there. We're going to focus today on only a few ingredients in this video. First of all, we're going to roast the artichokes in the oven. Try using smaller artichokes that haven't had time to develop much of the flower inside the outer petals. I rinse the buds and remove any aphids or ants that I find. Then I cut the artichokes and put them on an oven tray. I add a nice splash of olive oil and some salt too. Roast them at 350 degrees or 180 degrees Celsius for around 30 to 40 minutes. It might take up to an hour if the buds are very large. You can also try boiling your artichokes. This works especially well for larger buds. Just bring water to a boil and salt and cook for around 30 to 40 minutes. Try to carefully remove one of the petals from the bud. The artichoke is done when the petals come off easily. And last but not least, I also pan fry my artichokes. This is the perfect way to cook very small artichokes. Be careful with the heat when you pan fry the buds. They are ready when soft.
How to eat the artichoke, though? Well, a colleague of mine actually compared it to eating shellfish. And I think that's a fair comparison. You can find smaller areas of delicious meat where the petals connect. And then you have the lovely artichoke bottom in the middle, of course. That was my three favorite ways to cook artichoke. Enjoy!